Hi, I'm Mary. Welcome to my channel. We're going to be working today with evaluating functions, first at a real number and then at algebraic expressions. The video uh, goes together with the worksheet that's posted in the discussion box below if you want to follow along with that as well. All right, so the function we're interested in is f of x equals x squared plus 2x plus 7. Okay, and we want to find f at minus 3. So I'm going to um, substitute in wherever I see an x. I'm going to substitute in this uh, whatever it is that's coming in through that function parenthesis notation. So in this case, it's minus three, and we're gonna, I'm gonna substitute wherever there's an X. I'm just gonna put in a minus three. Okay, so. And now we're going to simplify the expression, which means um, follow, uh, follow the um, order of operations to evaluate the, the, um, the numerical expression. Minus 3 squared is 9 minus 6 plus 7. So we get um, 10. And then let's go on to this next one where we're going to work with the same function x squared plus 2 times x plus 7. But we're going to substitute for the x the expression x plus 1. So let's go ahead and plug, plug that in. And now we need to evaluate <clears throat> x plus 1 squared. Let's take it up here for a moment. x plus 1 squared is x plus 1 times x plus 1. We're going to distribute or use FOIL. And you might be able to do that without showing quite so much work, that's fine. So when we square this, we get x squared plus 2x plus 1. And we want to distribute now the 2. We get 2x plus 2 and then 7. So we're going to combine like terms. We're going to have our little buckets. <clears throat> And in this case, there are three uh, terms that we're interested in, three buckets, the x squared bucket, the um, x bucket, and the constant bucket. In the x squared bucket, we just have x squared. In the x bucket, we have 2x plus 2x. And over here in the constants, 1 plus 2 plus 7. And when you go to show your work, you really might not need to put them in buckets after you get some practice, but I just want to, you know, show it so that it's easy to understand what's going on. So we get x squared plus 4x plus 10. Okay. Good. And the next um, part we want to do is f at minus x. So let's go ahead and we'll put that here. This was actually part C. F of minus x. We're going to do that same thing. Um, I'm going to write out the function. And then we're going to substitute in the uh, the value minus x. Okay. 
Okay. So now we're going to evaluate each piece. Minus x squared is x squared. 2 times minus x is minus 2x and the 7. And notice that this is already a simplified form. There are no uh, like terms that need to be combined. So we are done. And this is f of minus x. All right. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next video.